Good afternoon, everyone. I am Laura Burns. Perhaps few of you may know me, especially if you attend St. Anne's Episcopal Church. I understand there's a plaque there with my name on it. But probably most of you don't have any idea who I am. It's been over a hundred years. It's hard to believe it's been that long, but it has. I lived in Callis all of my life. I lived in the same house on Hinkley Hill, and I heard that the house now belongs to some people named Ed and Susan Harvey. It may have been recently <laughs> sold, but I hope they enjoy living there as much as I did. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. My mother and father came to live in Callis with my aunt and uncle before I was born. My papa had graduated from Dartmouth College in New Hampshire, and he became an attorney here in Callis for many years. Sadly, though, I didn't know my mother. She died in childbirth with my sister, Grace. But despite that great loss, my papa took really good care of my oldest sister, Kate, and I. Kate grew up and she married a man named Thomas Armstrong and they have one daughter, Winifred. I never married. But we're all buried here together at the family plot. During my lifetime, I was a teacher. I have always valued education. Papa supported learning for everyone, and he passed that belief on to me. He felt that through education, anyone could improve themselves, even if they had been born poor. He said that knowledge was the key that opened the door to success, and I believe he was right. Believing this, he sent me to college, even though girls did not generally receive a higher education when I was young. So when I completed my education, I returned home to Callis, and I began my teaching career here. I taught younger children just down the road from my house at a school right there on Main Street. Eventually, though, I had the opportunity to teach at Callis Academy, where I taught for many years. I can still remember some of my pupils. One in particular is a young man named Henry Milner Rideout. He was a very promising student. He worked hard and he had an excellent aptitude. But Henry's father had died, and his mother had no way of paying for an education. I knew Henry very well, and I also knew that he was excellent material for Harvard University. My cousin, Charles Townsend Copeland, was a professor at Harvard. But he came home every summer to Callis, Maine. So I waited until the next summer so I could talk to him. Well, Charles spoke with Henry and decided that yes, indeed, he was a promising student and he would help him get into Harvard. But we had to find a way to pay for his education. So together, we found some benefactors for the boy among some of the prominent citizens here in Callis. And Henry went to Harvard. He did very well for himself. He became a Harvard professor for a time. And eventually he became a well-known author of his day, writing over 16 novels. So you see, through my papa's influence, I understood the importance of education. As much as I enjoyed education, I also enjoyed my church. I have gone to St. Anne's Episcopal Church all of my life. I even remember Reverend Durrell who built the church in 1853. I was born in 1856 and he was the rector there when I was a child. I always thought it'd be nice to do something for my church, but I was never really certain what to do. I also wanted to help other people, either in my church or in my city. You see, I was very fortunate. I came from a family of means, but I knew there were others 
who were not as fortunate as I. I had seen poor people refuse medical attention because they just didn't have money to pay for it. And in those days, people often died because they couldn't afford a doctor. And as I got older, I felt even more deeply about these things. And they became a passion of mine. The value of education and St. Anne's Church and helping the poor. So after much thought and much prayer, I went to my lawyer and I drew up a will. I had a little bit of money and it seemed like this was the best way to use it. I was going to make provisions for someone for education and to help my church. So I thought about my teaching and the importance of education and I set up three scholarships, two to Dartmouth College in New Hampshire and one to Simmons in Boston. I, just, I set up a scholarship for a deserving graduate from the Callis Academy and a smaller scholarship for an eSport high school graduate. And then I set up a scholarship for a graduate of Callis Academy to Simmons College. You see, in my day, Dartmouth was only for men and Simmons was only for girls. And I wanted to have equal opportunity for both sexes. Unfortunately though, the scholarship at Dartmouth has not been used much and I'm very sorry about that. I'm not sure about the eSports scholarship but I know that the one at Simmons College has been used, and I am very happy about that. The second thing I wanted to do was provide for St. Anne's Church. So I set up some funds, one to help the parish with repairs to the building, and another to pay for the cost of a child to go to the House of the Good Shepherd in Gardner. That was an Episcopal Church orphanage. And there were children from Callis there, and I wanted to help support them. So I set up this fund to pay for a child that was from St. Anne's first, but if there wasn't one, it could be used for any child in the city of Callis. 